Sean D.E. from BorderWork.com and today we'll be doing a review of the Belkin Network Adapter Powerline AV500. Uh, this is a Powerline adapter, similar to what you saw um, with the Netgear Powerline. This is a similar product, but this is from Belkin. Um, with, it has speeds of up to 500 megabits per second. So if you live in Kansas and you have uh, gigabit, gigabit internet from Google, you can definitely use this. Uh, it's a wired, wired uh, home network, so basically it plugs into your circuits, your uh, sockets on the wall, and you get wi basically wired internet through the circuits from your, your modem or router to whichever device you're uh, plugging it into. Easy to set up. Um, it's got, this is basically a one port model, so it's just one ethernet uh, port on each side. Packaging here. Uh, so let's go ahead, uh, open this up. Let's see what we have here. So of course my trusty, Scissors. Of course, you're doing this at home. Please be very careful. Here's our power line. Open up the uh, product. For some reason, I am I do a bad job with stuff like this. There we go. And uh, let's slide that out. So it's our box. Set that aside. There's nothing there. Open up our power line box here. So we do have uh, Ethernet cables, two. Also have our power line ports here. We have two of them, of course. And you can add more, as with most power line devices. And below is our CD and um, installation guide. It's kind of hard to get to, so hopefully you guys change that. This is our manual, and of course there's a user manual CD here. Don't really need that. Put it back there for safekeeping and see if I can reconstruct this box here. So we have our quick installation guide because this is very easy to set up here. Shows you, you plug it to the wall. You cannot use um, plug, use a surge protector. It cannot be plugged into a surge protector. Um, distance max is 300 meters, so pretty much your whole house. Also shows you here the LED configurations, solid green adapter running, um, you know, also shows you the colors. So basically maximum link rate is green, which will give you 80 megabits, it will be greater than 80 megabits, not limited, greater, so 80 to 500. Uh, amber is between 10 and 80, and then red shows you that it's less than 10 megabits per second. You can also make, make it an encrypted um, connection, so basically a secure connection. So we have our cables. Let's open up, see our Belkin power lines here. Open each one. Okay, so the power lines from Belkin are black. You can see each connector. Um, you have three, um, basically, uh, indicators here on your power line. Of course, this is the uh, um, each one here. So this is for security. This is the Ethernet, and then this is your connection between two power lines. So this should be the last one that lights up. On the bottom here, you have an Ethernet port. You have your security buttons, which put, most likely you have to hold down for two to five seconds and to sync each power line to to a secure channel. And then, of course, your reset button. And that's pretty much it, it's very simple. So again, what you have to do is, uh, what we're gonna do is take one, we'll plug it in this way, we'll plug it into our router, and um, we'll take the other one and we'll plug it somewhere in the house, and we will, of course, hit the reset button to just secure them securely, and um, you know, see how well it works. So, you already know our connection here, we have a 50 megabit connection, wirelessly we get about 38. Uh, depending where you are in the house, the lowest I've gotten wirelessly uh, in the house is about 25. With the power line, you should get 50 back again. So let's test that out. So here's our Belkin AV500 here. We've already plugged the other version or, or the other piece to our um, our router. And then you can see you can reset it and you can lock it. So that's a like, security lock there. Um, right now it's not plugged in. We just wanted to do a quick speed test. Showing you speeds we are getting um, here with Wi-Fi. So we, let's go into that, do a Wi-Fi speed test. We should get, well, our network here is at 50 megabits per second for downloads and uploads are, um, 
about five. So we get in about 39 Wi-Fi. So with the Belkin power line, we should match that or equal actually um, 50 megabits. Uh, so let's see what we have. So down uploads five, downloads 50, which is uh, they're about correct. All right, so the power line here. I am going to plug it into the wall. Now, just gonna zoom out a little bit. Move this to the side, you can see it, it's plugged in there. So you can see all three lights are registering, which will indicate that it is active. So let's go ahead back to our PC here. Disconnect our wireless connection. So we connect it wirelessly. Disconnect that. Actually, now we connect it wired. It's wired connection. You can see below there. It shows that it's a wired connection. All right, let's rerun that test again. So we got 38.38 download, 5.88 upload wireless. With the power line, well, we get it. So the power line is pretty much matching uh, our service. It's at 50 right now, and our upload speed should match. So you can see our download speeds are 51.32 which is what our home service is, our service here, and then our uploads are 5.92. So with the Belkin power line, you don't lose any, um, uh, you don't lose any signal speeds or you don't lose any uh, internet speeds because you're actually running through a network. So it's not wireless where in terms of wireless connectivity, you're always gonna lose some, some speed and some frequency there. Uh, with the Belkin power line, because it runs through your, uh, your power, your power circuits around the house, you actually get um, you get the same speeds that you should be getting from your your uh, router or your modem itself. The other cool thing about this is that um, the indicator, which I will unplug here in a second, the indicator will tell you uh, with flashing colors it, how good the connection is. So if it's green, that means the best connection. If it's yellow, that means it's um, it's about subpar. If it's red, you get a very bad connection. Now the one thing to remind everyone, as I mentioned earlier, is that you should plug this directly to the wall. You cannot plug it to a power strip or a surge protector. It will not work. This has to be plugged directly to the wall or else you will not get any internet connectivity whatsoever. So if I like it, it uh, works well. You can see, uh, especially if you are in a home that has, uh, you know, just, um, a very interesting or if you had in an older home or older building where you have wireless connectivity issues I think this works well you can you know plug in your router anywhere you need to or your modem and then use this on the go with you around the house so this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment